Hello folks, I've just come over after work So I've got some seeds to sow here I've got some Daria seeds And I also have a little helper I've brought someone over to help us sow some seeds Hello, hello Paula Hello, hello In fact, yeah, what are you doing wearing me t-shirt? Get, Take it off before it gets dirty What's the matter with you? Whoa! You're gonna have it? Ah. <laughs> I feel like a Benny Hill moment coming on. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Hello, welcome to Dave's allotment. Still cracking on at the allotment? <coughs> Get the kettle on. It's a lovely day. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Morning folks. It's a bit cooler today. I brought some grass cuttings over. For a reason. I'll tell you about it in the shed because I'm choking for a drink. See you in a bit. Right. I'm going to be busy today. I've got myself this pot here. I've been cutting the holes in. So I'm getting me tomatoes in the trench. Ah, it's a bit different today than what it has been. It's a bit colder and it's been raining all night. Um, as you've seen on the start of the video there, Paul, I was here on Wednesday and that's all we managed to film. And then it just, the heavens opened. So unfortunately we couldn't carry on. I did plant the dahlia seeds the other day though. So we'll see what happens with them. I'll show you that later. Uh, I've wrote a list today because there's that much to do. Like I say, I'm going to plant me tomatoes in the um, in the greenhouse. I got I've got some more Humax there. I had to go to Wilkinson's yesterday because um, I couldn't get a lift to the allotment shop, and I had to buy some compost from Wilkinson's. Oh no! I tell you what, it's not very good stuff. I'll show you the, the comparison because I'll be potting on. I've got some, their giant cabbages need potting on, onion needs potting on. I'm going to put all my flowers out into the final pots. I've got to make some space in the greenhouse because things are starting to grow and it's starting to fill up. What else? Aye, lots of other things. Blah, -de -blah, -de -blah, -de -blah, -de -blah, -de blah, blah, blah. So I'll just crack on with that. I'll see you in a bit. We'll have me cut my first door. Ta ra! Right, as you can see, I've been putting the tomatoes in that I got off Ray because they were getting a bit big. So they've been going into the trench here. But as usual, you get the pots, cut them. I've been sinking them down. And I've got the, the rest of the Humax there. And these empty bags come in handy as well. I'll show you that later. But I, these uh, tomatoes are getting far too big for these pots. These are the sweet million ones. So, I'll get it in. And I'll be able to crack on with other things. Because uh, the sun's come out now. Get in. Right, that's about the level. Aye, a couple of days of hot, hot weather certainly does make a difference to the garden. Everything's coming on now. It doesn't seem like five minutes ago since I was doing this last year. Right. <coughs> right, that's that. 
sorted. I'll get some uh, bamboo canes in there later on after I've given them a good watering in. So that's job number one done. Next job, I'm going to pot on these giant cabbages outside. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, just before I go on with the potting on, I'm going to show you this. Westlands multi-purpose compost with added John Innes. Now that straight away looks crap. Okay, a bit close up there. In fact, I'll move the camera over. Because honestly, that is really bad, that like, really bad. I wouldn't want to use that for anything, really. I feel sorry for the people who have to use that. But like I say, I'll get you a little close up. Now this is the Humax. No comparison to that other stuff from Wilkinson's like. And it's cheaper. That bag from Wilkinson's was £4 for 50 litres. This is £3.20 for 60 litres. And it's much, much better. Right. Like I say, it's time to get this giant cabbage potted on. So I've made myself a little mix here. I'm, I'm going to put it in this pot. I've made myself a mix of the Humax and I've added some charge. Aye, this cabbage is coming on leaps, leaps and bounds there. It'll not be long before it goes out, but until it does, I'm just going to give it a little bit more time to boost up in the greenhouse. See the nice fair bit roots on there? And all that kind of thing. Oh, before I... I'm going to add some of this mycorrhizal fungi. So I'll get it back out of the pot. Oh, how am I going to do this? And I'll sprinkle some of this. Should do it. Tell you what, there's loads of green fly around the day. So that's that one done. I'll get on with the next ones. I'll not bore you with it. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay? Well, I've been busy there. I've just been potting on some stuff. There's a uh, Cosmos and there's some bigger pots there. And these are the Convolvulus. I put six out there into the pots. I've also potted on these um, Morning Glory. So it's all looking good. It's giving us a bit more space in the greenhouse now. I'll show you that later. But for now, it's time for these Swedes to go out. So I'll, I've just been preparing the bed there. It's nice and warm in the sun there. Eh? Hi, so the, I'm going to put the Swede along here. I've just um, put some Gromo in there and some fish blood and bone and a little bit of bone meal. So I'll get on with that, but first though, I'm going to have a cuppa. Early morning, a new day is dawning, I look to the sky. Sunny weather, I 
can tell we're together feeling so high Only Well, I've done for the day. I thought I'd start you off in the path with a nice, lovely view of the Clematis. Look at that. What a sight. Lovely. This is a Clematis Montana. As you can see, it goes all the way along the fence. Beautiful. Covered in birds' nests and everything. As a shade you from the, the sun there. Because look at here. My Clematis has got flowers on. I don't know what sort of clematis this is, it was uh, just in an empty garden so I saved it and it looks like it's going to have a nice little display of flowers on there as well which is good so a little tour of what's been happening the rhubarb's still growing like mad crazy bluebells are still looking nice Lovely, nice to see them with a little bit of uh, shade, look at that, lovely that. Listen to the birds as well. Uh, let's go, carry on with the tour, there's some more bluebells there, as you know. Nothing else has been happening here, my leeks are doing Fine. So they they're doing our right. champion. The garlic. I've I've just been round and hoed round all the onions there as well. It was chucking it down all last night, so they've all had a good feed and they seem to be liking it. And I've given me garlic here a little top dressing of bone meal just for the final time before it starts bulking up I was getting a bit worried the other day um, 
but I didn't know, you know, I've, I've never grew garlic before, it's never got to this stage. And I was having a little feel around and I was thinking, well, there's nothing there, what have I done wrong? But what I found out is all of the green growth goes back into the, the bulb in June and July. So, phew, about that. Uh, look what's happening here as well, folks. Pears. We've got pears. All over. All over, champion. The first pear of the year ever. This ergament russet is still blooming away there. It's starting to turn into apples. Hopefully. And the, uh, these onions, the overwintering ones now, are starting to thicken up a bit. So it'll not be long before these are out. But they're all standing up nice and healthy. This one's doing canny. So it'll not be long. I put some carrots, a row of carrots along there. Like I said the other day, I put a row of carrots along here as well. Nothing's appeared there though. I'm quite pleased with my onions this year. What's happening in this fruit cage? Plenty. Loads of flowers there on me. Black currant. This is a called Ribena, and it is actually the the variety that uh, Ribena use. So it'll be interesting to find out what these taste like. This honeyberry is putting on a canny bit growth. I don't, I don't think I'll get any fruit off it this year, but who knows? It was only a little stalk when I bought it. Raspberries, blah de blah de blah. Um, that's the swede that I put out there. So I've got one and a half rows. I put the net over because I think the pigeons will have a little munch at them while I'm not here. Because they were having a little munch at these um, peas the other day. I came and I seen the one on the path pecking away at the leaves. So I've put this frame up. Hopefully they'll start climbing and shooting away and then the pigeons are leaving them alone. What's gonna Oh I'll tell you what's gonna happen. I was looking to see if anything's going on here and that is a tatey. And there's another one. And there's another one. And there's another one. And there's another one. So that's good. There's another one. Excellent. There's still no sign of these ones here though, which is a bit of a worry. But these ones are started, so surely if there's nothing happens with these two rows within the next week, I'm putting more in. That's it. I've come to a decision. But I get in, my taties are starting to grow at last. I've dug this bit, prepared it. Well, it'll get prepared for me cabbages and what have you. Get them out soon. I've chopped back this comfrey and I've put it in the bin over there. So I've used some of the comfrey juice to feed me tomatoes earlier on. I can't wait to, uh, to get a meal from it. I tell you what, that reminds us. Does anybody know who a meal is? Because every time people pick the veg, they always say, there's enough for a meal. Well, this a meal seems to get everybody's veg. I'd like to know who he is. If anybody can help us out, leave a comment below. <laughs> Right, onwards with, onwards with the tour. Them sweet peas have had it. Had no success with the sweet peas this year. These giant onions are doing okay though. I come every day and think, bloody hell, you haven't grew very much. <laughs> but, you know, too eager, man, too eager. But they're all doing canny. Not bad at all. I've just filled this nettle bucket full of nettles because there was some down there so they're steeping away nicely get get some feed on the go Annie's rose here 
coming on leaps and bounds it's going to be covered in flowers again tell you what though I better not be covered in a uh, green fly because I did notice a load flying around the day there is some green fly on there get off and a, a lily it'll not be long before this is flowering 11th of June that day I'll never forget look there's a black parrot look at in the sun there there that's better it's not very black like but I get the gist very nice very nice this bamboo started to grow again which is good I'll give this tree here uh, this boxes thing a little bit of a prune there's my little blue tit keeping an eye on things there canny whoop right two seconds folks right as I was saying well what was I saying why oh, these black parrots they're all out now it's funny looking things like raggy raggy uh, leaves and that raggy petals should I say the tulips they've come to an end now so I've just left them there to die off get the goodness back in what's been happening in this greenhouse have I missed out anything over there no oh, I'll tell you what I used this bottle to fill the comfrey uh, to use for to measure out the comfrey and I think I might just fill it up because it just looks like Jack Daniels <laughs> that'll fool someone with it it serve them right Break in, drink that, you'll know about it. Right into the greenhouse. I've got all my tomatoes are in, as you've seen before. I've put two of them in buckets here, because I wanna I might stick them outside. I've got a little bit of space left here for something. But they'll all do alright there, I should imagine. So there's two, Shirley, four sweet aperitif four sweet million and two more sweet aperitif and these shirley's and indigo cherry and all of that ones that i grew from seed will eventually be going into that greenhouse the shared greenhouse i sold some more gutter peas the other day get them out who doesn't love the peas Peas, man, peas. There's grapes coming on there. Grapes all over. Get in. Here's the giant sunflower. That's getting big now. That's about two foot, I should imagine. They and are it. And this one's weird, it's still growing. The giant double. The giant doubler. There's the uh, butter and squash, and these are the obviously the morning glory that I just put on before. My watermelons are doing all right. Look at that. How's everybody else's doing? Everybody who's entered the watermelon challenge. I need to put them on next week. Happy days. Sunday, Monday, happy days. There's the convolvulus, and there's the rest of them under there. There's a bit more space here, this lettuce will need to go out next, as well as these beetroot. Hi, things are coming on. These are a few of the brass brassicas uh, for the brassica bed. These are the kaolettes. And the kale that looked as though it didn't survive, has survived. So I've been given a little drink there, and it's flying on. And there's the cabbages, they're all primo. And look. Broad beans. I've chucked the first lot of stones because they were just rotted, rotted. But these are all, there's, that one's just appeared since I've been here. So it looks like we've got to get some broad beans after all. And look, what's this? A blue lake climbing bean. Yes. And there's another one there. Excellent. So I'm glad about that. Don't have to sow them again. These uh, cucumbers doing all right, I suppose. 
they'll be needing to be potted on soon I can see the roots just starting to come out the bottom there and these are all just little uh, little seedling things um, these are the chili palan uh, chili palans chili palans <laughs> um, that was for subtitles by the way I don't know what that said um, spring onion are they they'll be going out soon cabbages and that the, the, all the willy chilies are up now well not all of them but there's four there so we'll see what happens with them this mizuna mmm it looks good tastes okay just nip a few leaves off when you want them mmm a couple of more butternut squash there that's a pacific giant I potted them on because they're flying away and I potted these sweet corn on as well they're doing alright as well but not as good as what they used to be yeah uh, what else can I show you before I go the chrysanthemums hey it doesn't taste bad, that bad that Mizuna the croissants are coming up canny they've all been potted on as well and eventually they'll be going out just alongside where Annie is where the bamboo is at the minute oh be a gun man always a gun man be a gun man here's my giant cabbages doing absolutely tremendous these are I'm well pleased with these like doubling in size every week you cannot really tell the size from this like but uh, you know I put my hand next to it quite big and I'm kind of chuffed with this onion the onion seed from Dan that's flying away as well tall it's hard to try and keep them straight without snapping them but I'm getting there it's not getting it's not looking too bad now look at here my potato in the tire I've earthed it up I've already earthed it up with some compost and that and I just cut the grass the other day so I brought the grass cuttings and I've earthed it up I'm just going to use grass cuttings in here from now on but it's almost to the top anyway so not be long before I get some potatoes out of there I shouldn't imagine and that's, I was watching Dan's video where he had uh, the bucket potatoes got a kind of good crop off them enough for a meal whoever our meal is so I put some in there well some there's one the only pink fur apple that had chits on it's gone in there and I've put a kestrel in there so we'll see what happens and I don't think there is anything else to show you so I'll just leave you on a little view of the the nice sun <laughs> no wait there I'll stand outside so that's all folks thanks for watching everything's looking good F things are finally starting to grow and all that kind of thing so i'll see you on the next one folks like i say thank you for watching commenting liking and especially subscribing it really does mean a lot thank you bye now <laughs>